What's up, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your girl, Gracie, and I am back with another video for you guys. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And most importantly, make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so that way you all can be notified every time your girl upload another video. So, today, by that title, by that thumbnail, y'all already know what's finna go down today. So, today, I will be doing another what? Reaction video for you guys. Yes. So, today... Um, I will be reacting to part three, Damien Cryer, not loyal to the Prince family. Now, I already did part one and part two, so y'all don't want to come to part three and skip part one and skip part two because you ain't gonna know what's going on. Okay, so make sure y'all go watch part one and part two, and today I'm gonna be react to, reacting to part three. Now, I, I hope this is not another one of their little pranks, one of their little series, because they got the internet hot right now. But I doubt it because I, I, I doubt if LaToya put herself in this type of situation, let alone Erica, because Erica always come with receipts, baby. That's what, man. Don't try to call her out because she always going to call you. She always going to bark back harder, like, because she got the receipts and you don't got nothing, okay? So whatever he tried to say to clap back, I don't know what he going to say because clearly in the beginning of this video, she did a voice recording of him dissing his own motherfucking son, also known as the Prince family. So, I don't know what he gonna say, and hopefully my son don't come knocking at this door, interrupting this video again. But, um, so yeah, we're just gonna dive into this video. I'm not gonna ramble too much, so let's get it. Now, you guys, I'm not going to pause it so much through the video, but make sure y'all pay attention to what Mr. Cryer is saying about his own son. Whoever he's talking to, I have no idea, but the disrespect is real. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, he don't show this, this side of him to us when he posts videos and things like that. He always saying he's this nice person and all this, that, and the third. But hearing this, it don't even sound real because... He don't, he don't show this side of his character, you know what I'm saying? But Erica, you know, she been with him long enough. They got a baby together and he has uh, abused her mentally and physically. So, you know what I'm saying? So she the only one that really knows what goes on behind closed doors. He's not this big old nice guy, smelly guy all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, she always got the receipts. So if this choir family watch this or whatever, I don't know if they're going to keep quiet or they're going to bark back, but whatever, they better come with it because she's going to have those receipts back to back, back to back. You know what I'm saying? And right now, they got the internet hot right now. So let me just stop talking and let's get into it. Y'all yeah, make sure y'all pay attention. How you going to tell somebody they never lost power? And hey, you guys, he's talking about that storm that happened in Texas, that snowstorm. It knocked out a whole lot of people power. A lot of people was dying from it. A lot of people froze to death. A lot of people lost their homes because of this. And how you going to sit there in line and say your own son basically lost power and he just wanted to make a video? Like, he don't have to make a video. Like, they, like they got money, like... Why would he have to make something up like that? Like, everybody was actually going through it. Ain't nobody going to lie about not having power. And so the fuck, what if he got two houses? Like, what the fuck? Do, where is he going with this? I said, if he got two fucking houses, I'm going to apartment job with power, fully furnished, millions of dollars. A person like that sounds jealous. Like, just listen to what he's saying. It's so much jealousy in his voice and his anger is ridiculous. But yeah, he's gonna pick up in his career, we don't give a fuck about him with a fucking dog. That doesn't make sense to me. Because I'm moving down here for their ass, for their asses. I'm moving down here for their asses. Wait a minute. Did he just say he moved down into Texas for their asses? Oh my gosh, crier, crier, crier. You always trying to make yourself look so good. You did not move to Texas for they asses. You moved down there to Texas to better your life, to live off them because they was already making money off YouTube. If you're going to tell the truth, you know, tell it how it is. Don't try to make yourself look good and make them look bad. I don't know. I don't even know if the Prince family going to react to this because everything was going so good. But you never know. Things can go so good, but that person smiling in your face could be be your dad, your mama, your uncle, your cousin, they still stab you in the back and talk about you behind your back. Like, that's crazy. And they always say blood is thicker than water. 
But in this situation, what y'all think? Comment down below. You know, so I understand what she's saying because I don't believe everything that you see on YouTube. Everything is just for entertainment. If something was really that wrong with that nigga, I'm sure you would have kicked her off and called me. What kind of shit is that? He's so you know, angry. He knew I'm messing shit that he shouldn't be doing. Find this five year old strong. He comes over here to get him, his girl, and his dog. Stop it. I'll go over there and say, oh, you eat shit all day, man. I said, I'll work this shit out. I get on both days, work this shit out now. I don't want to fucking hear it. I said, I'll go over there and say, oh, you eat shit all day, man. I'm 50, I'm not kissing nobody. He's like, oh, so you just know this boy got money? And see, that's the problem with being the right guy. At this point, Mr. Cryer, are you really even sick? Or did you try to play that role to get back in your son's life because they was doing so good and you probably needed a piece of change and wanted some more views? Because now, if you notice, Mr. Cryer is doing a lot more videos with them. But let me just stop down to Mr. Cryer because I do, I am subscribed to him, LaToya, and his channel actually blew up since he started dating dating uh latoya because he never had those many uh subscribers you know what i'm saying i'm not hating and i'm not trying to cloud chase i'm not doing nothing i'm just trying to tell y'all what it is and i'm reacting from my perspective so um ever since he got with latoya his channel have been boosting up because of her and i'm just gonna say it you know because she said a lot of positive things on his channel and that's what people like people like seeing challenges pranks and stuff like that and that's basically what they do and when he was by himself he was just basically doing reaction videos to the who to the prince family who he's dissing right now get the fuck that's out the problem with being like, that's the reason why being in the house right now that's the reason why stop speaking to that mm -mm. when this fight falls out i don't go over there telling him oh don't do this nigga nigga you gotta keep him up here for a reason i ain't saying shit to nobody prove a point that you, this man is a liar he's not loyal to nobody including his son that has went to back to him lifts him up financially yes. motivates him then yes. put him on the platform to win and yes. yet you still have the side work conversations with people so again and y'all and the only reason why damien i mean uh mr crier is feeling that way is because he's making money now he don't need his sons and them shit like that no more. But before he did, so now he just want to downgrade them and talk about them. I hope like hell. I hope. <laughs> I hope they see this video because I want to see what they're going to say. They probably going to say it's old, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, even if it's old or new, he still disrespect y'all behind y'all back and smelling y'all face. Like I said, they always say blood sticking in water, but... Family will fuck you over before a friend will. Somebody that will tarnish, tarnish their own son name with lies. Yes. What do you guys think that he would do to me? Somebody that he don't even care about. With that being said, I want to address Damien did a community post saying that I had called him one night. Um, basically panicking that this, the, the mother party was going to hurt me. And let me go into details about that. I called Damien because somebody, I believe, was him and Latoya. Now I can say her name because I was trying to say face so that um, 
I wasn't trying to embarrass the girl because her nigga not even claiming her. But since she has so much to say, now the whole world is going to see what your guy's saying about you behind your back. So don't ever get it twisted, sweetheart, because I know you're watching this. If he done it to the other exes and he done it to me, what makes you think? And I'm kind of glad she said that. She said, I'm pretty sure that you're watching this. But even if she's watching this, she's still going to try to be belittle her. Like, she's going to think that she just, uh saying this, that, and the third, and not believe her, but some shit you have to believe. Like, she coming with her receipts, so now that she came with these receipts, how, like, the stuff that she's going to be saying, like, how do she know all this stuff unless Mr. Cryer is, is not, is, you know, talking to her about his, you know, his current girlfriend and he, who is he, who, uh, calm down, Gracie, who he with now, you know what I'm saying? Usually they, pro, they be posting those bangers, what? Back to back to back, but I ain't seen no video today. Hey, <laughs> I wonder what's going on. But let me just stop acting like that, cause like I said, I I still love Latoya. You know, she uplifts his channel a whole lot. But Mr. Cryer, I just cannot believe this. But then again, I can't because you put um, you know, Erica through hell, and it's crazy. Like I'm glad she saved all this receipts for a day like this, so now she can heal. Now she can just let it all out. Let it all out, because everybody was looking at her like she was the bad person. That you're different. Ask yourself that. And you said that she was actually married to somebody that used to beat you. So, let's hypothetically speak here. If I confided in Damien and said that somebody was beating me, which I never said nobody beat me, but let's say that that was a true scenario, you would encourage him to upload that post that he did, and y'all trying to make it seem like I'm just pulling this out of out of nowhere when I made a simple post saying that Cam was sick I couldn't take Cam to the doctor because Dion couldn't go in the doctor he got mad because the shoe fit obviously a guilty dog always barked and he goes and talk about something that didn't even have anything to do with the Mucker family first of all and it wasn't even a true statement so all he had to do even if he would have said this shit trying to make me look bad blah 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 cool however you throw another person in this because you've been jealous from day one and you won't tell the people the truth. How many times you told me he was using me. How many times you manipulated me into believing that him and his family was using me and all this stuff. And I did. I fell for it. So I'm going to throw myself underneath the bus. I am. But I'm going to get into more details about that recording that you guys just heard. So, yes, have I been guilty in communicating with this guy, having sidebar conversations that I shouldn't? Oh, yeah. I was I having sidebar conversations because I was going through some stuff that I was never going to bring to the internet because it wasn't the internet business? Yes, I was. I confided in Damien about a couple things, had no idea that he was even secretly recording me or anything like that, but I finally caught on to what he was doing because he kept trying to tell me that the mother family was using me for views, you put his whole family on, now he don't need me anymore. He probably just, he's saying all this because he don't want to see her happy. And he in a whole motherfucking relationship. How you gonna, how you just gonna say that about somebody if you don't still care about them? So obviously it's looking like to me that he still care about Erica, but he in a whole relationship. Because ain't nobody gonna say, say that. Like, I don't know, like, he's a jealous person. Like, you gotta go watch part one and part two. Like, he hired a private investigator to, you know, basically spy on her and do research and shit. Like, what are you, like, what are you, like... Why are you taking that so much time in and she's supposed to be your ex that you did so horribly wrong and you're in a whole relationship? That's what I just don't fucking get. Let Erica be happy. Like, stop. Just, you know what? Y'all had baby together and you cannot just put that baby on her because, like I said, like she said, she she basically didn't have a babysitter when, when Cam got sick and she needed somebody to watch Dion. Why? Just for a little few little hours, I guess. But he couldn't even do that because it was... Mr. Cryer said he was busy. See, us as mothers, we don't, we can't say that. We we just can't say, um, like, say if we gotta go to if we gotta go to work, and our sick and our kid gets sick, we gotta call off work. We can't just say I don't feel like taking care of you because you're sick. We can't do that. But they got the right to just say I'm busy or I got stuff to do. We can't say that regardless if we got stuff to do or not. We still have to maintain and be parents at the end of the day. Comment down below if I'm wrong. So he's trying to find a way out. Am I dumb behind this? I was very dumb. Very naive. Everybody been there. I believed it. And that alone, when you play mind games with somebody, can stir up riffraff. He was even trying to get me to throw 
a video out there to beat him to the punch, as he say, he because everything that. was going to be bad and spiral out of control. And little Miss Perfect Toya, she backdoors it, and she's like, um, yeah, you can do better than that. This is this is this. So this no, kind of makes me feel like sweetheart. You want people to think that you're not messy. You stay out of drama. You just do the right thing, and you're not. You're just as bad as me. If not worse. Cause think about it. Check this man's track record. Yeah, I have a, a reputation that you guys give me, and I'm not gonna continue to claim that reputation, but. You guys have labeled me to be messy, drama filled, whatever. But what about his track record with women? And the fact that you claim that you didn't been beat on before and all this other stuff, then why would you even sit up there and co sign when you heard the recording at the beginning of my first video? But since you wanted to add yourself in something and I've been trying to be respectful, how many ovaries do you have, Latoya? Do you have one or two? Because this man told me that you came to him crying because you can't have any kids that you only have one that's ovary. That's what I'm saying. 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 Niggas ain't loyal for shit, bro. He and a whole relationship supposed to be engaged. They rock that ring every single day. But the stuff that she's saying, how do she know this? Unless he's talking. So I, that's what I'm saying. I wonder what's going on with Latoya and Mr. Cryer right now because I know he probably uh crying and begging and saying this and that and third but how you how can he say he did not say that unless like how how and she's sitting and she know all this information so he's definitely talking but they ain't post no video today so i wonder what they're gonna say because it's crazy there's nothing that latoya really can say she just really need to stay out of it at this point you know she just need to take care of that with damien cryer because he had no business telling her her business his whole ex like come on now something ain't right that you're so insecure that you even asked him, what if Erica end up having a baby by you again? This man said that every time you get pregnant, it goes right in the toilet. How would I have known that, Latoya, if your man wasn't having sideboard conversations with me about you? How he never, ever wanted to spend no time with you. You're not his girlfriend. He comes over to your house. See, she's spilling all the beans because every time they post a video, they're like, we spend so much time together. Um... They might be in the making of trying to live together, like say doing two separate houses, and they always is always together. But listen to what she's saying, and it makes sense because Damien Cryer, I feel like he's been single for so fucking long, and he's been so independent for so fucking long. You know what I'm saying? When he do find him a good woman, which Erica was a good woman as well, you know what I'm saying? He don't he don't know how to act because he's so stuck on you know, being by himself and being independent and don't know how to treat the next woman. You know what I'm saying? And just want to just be. I want to be alone. I want to be alone. Get mad. I want to be alone. I, don't, I want to be alone. Rather than sitting down and just working it out or you just go in a room and calm down or go sit on the couch or go for a walk and then come back home. But no, Cryer was not like that. Um, all, the, all the videos and proof that she have and receipts, it will actually blow your mind because I know a lot of people out there went, went through abusive relationship physically, mentally. However, we all been through what she been through. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened that hers is all over social media. To put it down, to do his videos, and he's back home. You get mad because he won't sit there and watch you work because that's not fair to him. He even went to the extent to even say something low about you always want to cook healthy, so he'd rather be at his house. Think about it before you speak on something that you have no idea what's going on. And there's some other stuff that I'm going to be revealing in another video that's going to hurt your feelings. Because I was trying to be nice and cool. I'm the wrong one to play with, sweetheart. Yes. I can hurt you with my words. And that's, that's not a threat. That's a promise. Okay? So if I was you, I would sit back, analyze things, ask yourself, is this the situation I really want to be in with this man or not? Because guess what? These videos are not going to stop. And I'm not going to stop until I get tired. And I don't think I'm going to get tired anytime soon because I'm fed up. Now, I already admit, oh, and, and back to I called y'all a fear for my life. Somebody was playing games, and I believe that it was Damon and Latoya, was texting the Mucker family's phone saying that I had sent a picture to him of Dion. 
one, there's nothing wrong with me sending him a picture of DM. But two, they tried to paint this image that me and him still had something going on, which was not true at all. So I called them late that night, and there was a third party on the phone. And I'm glad that she recorded that as well. So you go ahead and drop your recording. I'm going to backdoor and drop the same thing to make sure that you're not doing nothing funny. See what I'm saying? Because I'm going to make something about that too in another video. So, Damien wouldn't shut up. And I said, Damien, will you shut up? I can be dead tomorrow and you won't even know because you won't stop rambling your mouth. I wasn't saying that to say that the mother family is about to kill me or take me out of this world. I was simply saying that to, to basically say, dude, if you be quiet long enough to even understand what's going on and, and hush because... It could be somebody right now that's headed to my house to blow my head off. And I wanted to let you know, because you're Dion's dad, and you right here in Houston, you live 15 minutes from me, so you'll know who done it, because whatever reason, you ain't even being quiet long enough, long enough to even understand what the situation is. You were so convinced on trying to get me to see that the mother family and his family is using me for views, and that I need to beat him to the punch and go ahead and drop my video on him first. Now, there was a female mention on his um on his channel, and it's just hilarious to me because we don't mind. We don't mind showing people that we're not the ideal perfect couple, and we will be doing a video about that together whenever the time is right. But you trying to expose what me and him got going on? What about you and yours? Why are you trying to deflect and get the attention off of you? Are you gonna address? You put your hands on me at the beginning of that recording because that's clearly you. Are you going to address throwing your son underneath the bus in the, the uh, recording at the front of this video? Because that's clearly you as well. Also, if y'all didn't understand some of the stuff that was going on um, at the beginning of this video, I... I don't know Damien and Bianca like that at all. And yes, I've had my run-ins because I'm convinced now that he was going back telling them one thing and he was going back telling me one thing because he plays a fence like that all the time. Too I have even said that. in those videos that I didn't think that they was bad people. I think that I was being manipulated and I feel like they was being manipulated. At the beginning of this year during that snowstorm, guys, so many people was without electricity. Which means that there was people that couldn't even get access to their breathing machines, their medications. They froze to death. They actually died. And the light company or whoever was over this whole thing is currently getting sued right now if they haven't already got sued or whatever the case is. So for you to put out that your son never, his lights never went out, that he pretty much turned the breaker box off. That's what I don't understand. Like, why would they do something like that? They, they don't have to do it for the views because they already make it. At this point, I think Mr. Cryer was just talking like, how you know they didn't lose power for real? Like, they not going to just post no video saying we lost power and really didn't. They already got money. They don't need all that attention all the time. Like, a lot of people was out po without power. Y'all didn't hear that part about the burning box. But he's insinuating that his son never lost lights. Now, I'm going to insert the video where his son said that he did lose lights. But see, they have the same realtor. So you're insinuating that your son pretty much lied about his lights going out for views that the video was already previously recorded. He don't need that. And that the only problem that he had was a gas line. I just don't see Damien and Bianca no. being that heartless. What we're going to whatever issue there was or wasn't. Hold on. I just and as quiet as it kept, if you if, if I'm mistaken or not, um Damien Damien and them lost power after I don't know if it was before or after Vaughn and M went to their house because they lost power and they needed somewhere to stay. So they went to the Prince family house and allowed them to stay there. I don't know if it was when the power got back on or off or before, I don't know, but I just know that they lost power and they went to the uh, Prince family house. It had to be shortly after they left, they lost power, I think. I'm not too sure. I got to go back and do my research, so don't quote me on that. I just don't see them being that type of people because there was people that actually lost their life. Yes, seriously. I mean, it was so bad. He said he never had a uh, snowstorm like that at all. 
And speaking of snowstorms, when his place was out here in Houston, we utilized my place in the country for like, I think it was like two weeks straight. And soon as his lights got back on here, we go to his house, spent the, I spent the night there. The next day he said he wanted to do videos. The next day he looking at me like, okay, when are you leaving? And I'm like, well, I thought you said you wanted to do videos. He said, no, don't you think we've been around each other long enough? And that's something that he's always saying about Latoya. He wants his space. He don't want to be around her. She's a YouTube chick. And it's okay. We've all been a YouTube chick. That is okay. But I got a recording that will hurt your soul. And I try to be respectable and keep you out of this because it ain't got nothing to do with you. Just like my post didn't say Damien Cryer. Well, my post also didn't say Latoya Manuel. So both of y'all speaking on me and the Mucker family. And why? I didn't bring anything to YouTube. I, I'm, I'm only addressing what Damien brought to you too. Because and another reason why he probably feel like that because when he made that, when she made that community post and somebody commented and said, um, "Why won't you just take him to her dad?" And she said, "Because he has, he said he has stuff to do," and he probably felt bad. So only a guilty person gonna feel that type of way. So that's why he put a community post as well. I forgot what he put, but he put a community post as well because you know why? Because he felt bad for what he had said to her, and the only thing he had to do was just get his son for a few hours. He was upset that the shoe fit him in that in that post that I made about not being able to take him to the doctor because Dion can go to the doctor. Now y'all also hear this man say that he's not gonna kiss his son ass because he's a millionaire and got money. Now I'm not gonna tell y'all who this other person was that he was telling this stuff to, but you calling people back home talking about your son. That's disloyal to a whole other state. He's jealous of his And how you gonna fix this? And it's your voice on the recording. So, y'all can call me childish all day long. Y'all can say I'm bitter. Y'all can say whatever. When it's all said and done, I'm gonna speak my truth so I can fully move on from all of this. I can't move on staying silent because I'm worried about majority of his subscribers is over here and my um comments so it's draining out the positive comments. No, because guess what? I see an unsee. And if you know, then you just know. At the end of the day, I'll throw myself underneath the bus. So bring it on. Whatever recordings you have, whatever screenshots you have, I'm going to say, yes, that's true, or no, that's not true. I'm going to stand in my truth. So it won't be no more secrets or nothing like that. But at the end of the day, can you stand in your truth, Damien, or are you going to keep deflecting? You worried about somebody physically abusing me. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? How you gonna talk about somebody else when you actually did it? Answer that. Are you gonna address talking about your son? Hell no. Mad or not, you still was talking about your son. And I'm pretty sure your son went to prison. Hold on. So, I'm, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I'm getting confused. I wonder what this recording before they fell out or during the time they fell out or was it after they got back cool and then he made this video but regardless of what before or after you don't disrespect your son like that like he said he was and the way he was talking it was just ugh, ugh. y'all y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all check that like i said i thought for one second think that as crucial as that time was at the, at the beginning of this year yes, that epic and he also said that uh, i'm sorry guys he also said that he moved down here for they asses. They meaning Damien and Bianca. So not only is you talking mess about him, you throwing his wife in it. So you ain't got no respect for nobody. So for all we know, it's all it's always been about a dollar to you. Because guess what? And I hate to bring up his daughter Margaret, but Margaret don't get no love at all. Because why? She don't have as much money. Is Damien? I've sat there plenty of days and listened to him um, tell me not to talk to that B I T C H as if she wasn't even his daughter. No. So no. you only be around the Prince family for their money and their yeah. views. Yes, and yes. And that's one somebody, thing I can say about them. Yes, somebody say it. That's the only why. The only reason why Mr. Cryer is over there, you know, making videos with them, and also now he's on the uh, DJ Clubhouse making making videos for views you know what i'm saying and he'll react to him i'm trying to tell y'all his his subscriber count is going up 
You know what I'm saying? Especially when he reacts to the Prince family, of course he's going to give you, you're their dad, you're, you're his dad. So of course the, the, the people that subscribe to the um, Prince family are going to come over there if they see the title of the Prince family and you reacting to it. So of course, so that's the reason why I think he did it. So don't try to come for me. So I just do reaction videos for no clout, no none of that. I just do reaction videos because it's fun for me to do. So you guys can get other people's side of the story and how they feel about the video, if that makes sense. He didn't look out for you, regardless. And I'm not trying to bring them in anything at all. And I hate that I even have to do this. But at the end of the day, you're not loyal to nobody. And all you do is lie. All you do is deflect. You paint this image that all your girlfriends was the problem and you wasn't. At least I'm woman enough to say what I did wrong in a relationship. I didn't cheat. Didn't even deserve to be humiliated and with a DNA test. Because I'm not, I'm not that type of woman. Have I cussed you out? Say F U B A N S all that. Yes, I did because I felt like you needed that. Because you're not gonna call me no B, no H, and I'm not gonna say nothing back. And this man is also smart. Every argument that has been caught on camera, haven't he all every every argument, even when he told me at the first time, the video that one of my old friends put out there. What was the one thing that he was saying, you're not gonna disrespect me. I got so much footage, y'all, that it's going to blow y'all mind. And like I said, I'm not going to stop until I get tired. Period. Period. Because my healing is going to start today. Mm -hmm. And since we put everything on out there, put everything out there. All of it. So, so I can stand in my truth. And I don't have no secrets about nothing ever again. Because I'm not afraid. Because at the end of the day, God know who to use. I may be going about this the wrong way. It doesn't matter. I'm I'm still fleshly. Fleshly means I'm not perfect until I get into heaven and walk through them gates. We all live in flesh right now. And as long as we have flesh in our body, we're going to sin. And ain't no sin greater than the other one. So all you saints in the comment section, y'all can chill and calm down. Because that, that's not even a real thing and it doesn't even exist. So you're making yourself look crazy. So again, standing in my truth. Bring on whatever receipts that you have. So, with that being said, expect another video because it's not going to stop and I'm not letting up. I'm going to speak my truth regardless of who like it. And at the end of the day, put everything out there on the table. And when it's all said and done, I can really walk like the queen I know I am. So you guys, you heard her, y'all. Y'all heard her. So this will be the end of this video. You got my reaction. I can't wait till part four so I can react to that video as well with you guys. Um, you guys heard my input on this video. Um, I hope she get the healing that she want. And I'm glad she kept all these receipts for so long, you know what I'm saying? Because she probably felt that it was going to come back on and try to hunt her, I guess. But I don't know. But I can't wait to part four. And I can't wait to see what Mr. Cryer and uh, Miss Latoya got to say. And also the Prince family, if they even, you know, acknowledge this video. I don't know. But until then, part four will be coming. Until then, peace out.